Hi guys, welcome back to Geeks Wargaming. Uh, we have another battle report for you today. I'm joined by uh, Toby. Say hello, Toby. Hello, everyone. Uh, so some of you might recognise Toby. He's uh, he's kind of a big deal in the community, aren't you, mate? <laughs> <laughs> in my own head. <laughs> he is the guy that you will recognise as the guy with the spangly jacket from uh, Warhammer TV Live that plays Custodes. So. Yeah, we've got custodes, uh, custodies. Sorry, uh, I'll get that wrong all throughout the video. Always do. Uh, custodies versus Iron Hands. Uh, we are playing Dominate and Destroy from the Chapter Approved um, book, and it's Dawn of War deployment. Um, so yeah, let's go and check out the armies. So the Iron Hands for today, uh, I have two HQ uh, in a battalion detachment. So on the right we have a captain with a combi flamer and a power fist. Next to him, a chaplain, which is completely stock. We have three identical squads of tactical marines, uh, missile launcher, uh, a missile launcher in that one, and a missile launcher in that one. Dedicated transport for those guys are the Razorback with the heavy bolters, so they'll all be riding around in those. Heavy support, we have a Contemptor Mortis Dreadnought, and a uh, Leviathan Dreadnought, which has got the uh, the Storm Cannon and the Siege Drill, I believe it's called, and the Nipple Flamers. Then I have a separate Vanguard detachment led by a Tech Marine with a Conversion Beamer and a Power Axe. We have a uh, Ironclad Dreadnought with the Hurricane Bolters, the Ironclad Launcher, uh, Melter and the Siege Drill. Uh, the uh, Derradio Dreadnought, which has got the missile launchers and the super las cannons. These are the strength 10 mortal wound las cannons. Then have a Relic Demios Predator with the Plasma Executioner and uh, las cannon sponsons. And then last of all, we have a Redemptor Dreadnought, which has got the Plasma Cannon, the Fist, with the uh, Gatlin gun underneath and the frag launches. And that makes up exactly 2,000 points. Right then, so this is 1,998 points of uh, Adeptus Custodes. Beware the horde, beware the horde, that's what I say. Um, so Warlord, we have uh, Trajan Valoris, Captain General. Um, he's, his Warlord trait basically enables any infantry bike or a dreadnought unit within 12 inches to heroic intervention which could be useful if, if you're running a foot slog list which i kind of am uh, next to him we have a shield captain in alaris terminator armor uh, he's also got a Miseria cordia i can never pronounce it properly but uh, and a castle and axe uh, the main thing with him is he can deep strike and i've given him a relic which is the praetorium plate for those that are interested in that it's a, a piece of war gear that when you deploy him you nominate an imperium character and he can basically just appear from anywhere next to that person if they're in combat during the opponent's uh, charge phase. So it's quite useful for like a catch out. So hopefully I get to do that today. Um, behind him, oh sorry, to the right, sorry, we're going to the right. Um, got a three man unit of custodies, uh, one spear, two shields. Uh, again, the guy with the spear is as you see him, he's got a Missia Cordia. If you can, never, I can never pronounce that right. Uh, behind him, unit six, four shields, two spears. Again, they've both. Both spears have the, the Misericordia, so an extra attack. And then we have another three-man squad for my battalion. Um, two, sp uh, two spears, one shield, uh, and no Misericordias in them. Uh, also have a Vanguard detachment of Imperium, so I've got two Vindicare Assassins. I'm trying to snipe out those Dreadnoughts. <laughs> <laughs> and then I actually have some Dreadnoughts as well. These are part of my battalion still. Um, but they don't get the plus one in Vun, because it only applies to infantry and bikes. Uh, they're equipped with assault cannons. And combi bolters and then my final hq for my battalion is a uh, shield captain on bike and he's actually got a relic as well so i'm paying a command point uh auric aquilus which basically he gets to uh reroll charges and he has a three up in van and then my favorite model big high wheelchair himself uh <laughs> inquisitor lord karamazov with his pet bubbles monkey now, those that aren't familiar with Jakiro Weaponsmiths, it gives me a chance in my shooting phase to reroll hits or wounds, um, or both. But uh, yeah, he's equipped with a 30-inch range melter and uh, a massive chair. 
So there we go, 1,998 points, seven command points uh, of Adeptus Custodes. We have a rare encounter for you today. Uh, it is Imperium versus Imperium. It is the Custodes, the Shadow Keepers nonetheless, against the Iron Hands. They have made Planet Fall on an abandoned Forge world. The Iron Hands are here to look for some STCs, which they've heard are in this sector. But equally, the Shadow Keepers have arrived looking for a missing relic, which could be the same thing. So there is going to be a clash. Iron Hands finished deploying first. I've had to put all of my Razorbacks over this side because Toby managed to choose the side of the table first. So um, my tanks can't go over this, but my walkers can. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit annoying, but <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna have to drive from this side, but Toby has actually deployed a lot of his units uh, on this flank as well. Uh, we have six objectives in play. So one of them is just in front of uh, my Razorback with my chaplain in. We have one over here, sorry, I've just knocked this forward. Um, one over here with my Predator on, one in no man's land, uh, another one right in the centre of the table, uh, one in Toby's deployment zone, and uh, another one in front of those custodes. So this, this is going to be a brutal encounter between two fairly elite, uh, resilient armies. Uh, Toby has already used um, three, four command points. Oh, yeah. Four command points. Uh, he has used uh, one, which is... Unit in deep strike. A unit in deep strike. Uh, also have two relics. So uh, one you get for free, but then you pay an extra command point to have another one. Yeah. And then as I place my biker down, I uh, gave him Victor of the Blood Games. Okay, and what does that one do? It basically enables him each turn to reroll one hit, one wound, and one armor save a turn. So the biker over here is going to be pretty tasty in combat. My force has started to advance on this flank uh, towards the, uh, the Dreadnoughts and the Custodes sitting on that objective. Uh, a couple of tactical squads have got out, uh, so they're just holding that objective with the um, ironclad dreadnought got a missile launcher in that squad as well oh, should yeah got a missile launcher in that squad could see him there uh, my other squad has got out the missile launcher has managed to get it into the building and the rest are just hiding behind there I'm a little bit worried about the uh, the vindicator assassin um, with my captain he has got the relic the armor Dominus, so he has got a two up um, save with a uh, three up invun once per game if I want to pop that uh, the uh, Contemptor has moved up to put a lot of spraying firepower down in this direction. It pumps out an awful lot of shots. Um, it advanced the full distance, well moved, sorry, the full distance with the Razorbacks um, from their position. So got a quite good hold over this side. Quite a um, high rate of fire that I can pump into uh, the Custodes over that side. My Derridio stayed still, he's got very long range with his last cannon, so again he can see over into that corner. Uh, my Predator, he hasn't moved, but he can see pretty much everything that he wants to kill. I've used the command point to uh, use the, um, what was it, uh, the Power of the Ancients, or the Will of the Ancients, which uh, will make a Dreadnought um, like a captain basically, so uh, anything within six inches re-rolls one, so that means this Predator and uh, my Redemptor will be re-rolling ones to hit and this Redemptor is holding that objective uh, there. So that's the end of my movement, let's move on to shooting. Lots of fire from this side of the board was pumped into the Custode squad sitting on that objective, managing to kill one of them and put another one on two wounds. That was the combined fire of the Razorbacks, the Dreadnought, uh, the Contemptor Dreadnought, uh, the Captain 
this squad, everyone basically, they're in cover. There's a storm shield in there as well, so just very, very resilient. Uh, over to this side of the table, um, as you saw, I used the um, Wisdom of the Ancients command point um, on the Leviathan, which meant that all of these guys were re-rolling ones, and that did actually play quite a big part in wiping out the custodian unit that was over here. Uh, final shots, final wound was taken off by uh, the uh, Derridio Dreadnought with a heavy bolter, believe it or believe it not. Um, so that scored me uh, first blood and destroy a unit. The Derridio then shot his two last cannons right over here uh, to that Contemptor, uh, rolled a one on the damage, decided to blow a command point and uh, rolled a one again, which is pretty standard, isn't it, really? So, uh, yeah, managed to destroy one unit, put another unit a little bit hurt on them, could have done with doing a bit more damage, but overall pretty happy with that turn. Clocking up the points, I've got uh, one objective here, two, three, plus destroy a unit for four, and first blood, so I'm now sitting on five victory points. Custodes have very aggressively deep strike behind the Iron Hands lines, trying to divide the force and conquer. Shield Captain is just outside of nine of that tactical squad, or the six man squad is just outside of these two dreadnoughts. The um, Shield Captain on the bike has zoomed up very aggressively, probably going to be charging one of these multiple choices he's got there. The two dreadnoughts are in the ruins, ready to lay down some fire from their carries. And the assassins, as you'd expect, have stayed stationary. The custodes here, custodies, sorry, have just moved hop down off the objective. They're still within three of claiming it, but that assassin's there anyway. So they're just moving up the field. The tactical squad that was here has been completely wiped out, uh, giving Toby a point. However, they were the most resilient tactical squad <laughs> in the were. world as it took this entire unit, the shield captain, one of the dreadnoughts, uh, these two, that bike, uh, the bubbles the monkey, um, and I had one guy, I was making so many six-up saves and feel no pains, it was just absolutely crazy. So after seeing the entire army fail to kill that one last tactical marine, the Vindicare assassin said, enough's enough boys, and he fired, and uh, had to use a command point to wound. <laughs> <laughs> so Toby is now down to one command point, but yeah, managed to get him through the eye socket causing two damage, and unfortunately the feel no pain failed me, despite him probably saving him about 20 times previously, so I can't complain really. So uh, yeah, Toby managed to get a point for that. Um, other fire came in to the Razorback, um, that was from uh, the one of the Dreadnoughts and also Karazov, Karazov. and uh, he is now down to four wounds, and the Contempt Dreadnought uh, what was that pinged by? Uh, oh, that, that was pinged actually by him. Uh, oh, Valorous by the... Shot him. Right, Valorous and, sorry, the Contemptor Dreadnought shot into my Contemptor and uh, only managed to get two wounds off him. So I've been really, really lucky with my saves there. Um, let's go on to uh, the Custodes Assault Phase. I'm sure they're going to be wanting to charge me. We had some really long charges coming in from Valorus and the Contempt to Dreadnought charging into the uh, Razorback and the Shield Captain on the bike multi-charged. Um, got lots of hits on uh, Overwatch but he managed to uh, save them all or they didn't wound. Um, this Dreadnought made short work of the Razorback and then consolidated three inches into the Contempt to Mortis. I did then hit him all four times back in combat um, but uh, only wounded once which was a, a save 
Uh, so that was quite a good little uh, salt phase by the custodies there. But before we go on to Iron Hans turn two, uh, the custodies have racked up uh, three points on that turn, two objectives and uh, one unit destroyed. The Contemptor Dreadnought has backed out of combat and the Ironclad has moved up to take the challenge of the Custodes Tempter, uh, Contemptor. Uh, we've had some shuffling around from the, uh, the transports. The Razorback that was in combat with the jet bike has moved forward. Um, the other one, the Tactical Marines have got out to hold that objective supported by the Leviathan and it has moved around to make it slightly more difficult to get through my back lines here. Uh, the Tech Marine has got out of that transport as well uh, to repair the damage on the uh, Contemptor Mortis. Uh, everything else has pretty much stayed still. The Derridio is going to be pumping a lot of fire down here as are the Tactical Marines that are sitting on that objective. And uh, my Predator is eyeing up these custodies here. Uh, my Redemptor is a little bit redundant over here, um, so I could move him. If you move the Redemptor, it is a 4 plus to hit, and he'd still be out of range with most of his guns because all the action is over here. So I've decided to keep him still, and uh, his target is the Vindicare Assassin over here. We'll be hitting on fives, but he's got an awful lot of firepower to pump out there. Uh, so let's move on to uh, the shooting phase. The custodies down here have weathered an awful lot of fire. That was the combined fire of uh, pretty much anything. <laughs> uh, so this tactical squad, the Derridio, shot all of its multi-shot weapons into it and the LAS cannons into that dreadnought there. Um, my Predator shot everything into the custodies squad over here. And uh, I shot my plasma cannon at that squad and everything else shot up into the uh, assassin. So I managed to, after all that fire, managed to uh, kill two guys and put one on one wound. Uh, managed to, with the Redemptor, take a wound off the assassin. That was with the, I think that was the anti-air rocket pilot and managed <laughs> yeah. to roll a cheeky little six and wounded him, he failed his saves. Toby has been rolling an awful lot of ones, which is not what you want to see as a custodies uh, general, I guess. Um, also put a cheeky wound on the Warlord, and that was from uh, the Combi Flamer of my Warlord. So we're going to have some uh, Warlord action there in the next phase, hopefully. Uh, managed to wipe out the remainder of the Custodes squad that was here, and that was combined fire of this tactical squad and uh, the Leviathan Dreadnought, plus probably a heavy bolter here and there just thrown in for, for good measure. Um, that is all the shooting, everything else kind of bounced off, my melter bounced off uh, the contemptor that's right in front, but he, he's quite happy to run in and punch him in the face anyway. Uh, that's what he does well. Uh, so let's move on to the uh, charge phase. We've had a very eventful charge phase. Um, so I've done some shenanigans here. The uh, chaplain Got a large charge, so he ran round the back of Valaris. Valaris, yeah. Um, I then declared a multi charge, uh, sorry, I then charged in my Razorback into uh, the jet bike shield captain, um, took one wound to Overwatch, then declared a multi charge um, between Valaris and the shield captain on the bike. I've then uh, declared a multi-charge uh, from my Ironclad into the Contemptor Dreadnought and Valaris. And then my Tech Marine, who incidentally did fix all the wounds back on this in the last phase, um, managed to get an 11-inch charge. He only needed about six anyway, but uh, got an 11-inch charge and has gone into that Contemptor as well. So there's going to be a big ruckus between some uh, Warlords. However, Toby is using a relic power. A Torian plate. So again, I nominated the biker as, a, as his character. So I'm gonna now teleport 
into an intervention there with the, uh, the captain. So I might bit off more than I can chew here. <laughs> Let's uh, go to the fight phase and see how this all pans out. So who's here first then, Robin? Uh, we've got my captain, because um, it doesn't matter what, what order I do this in, because Toby hasn't got any command points, That's so he can't true. interrupt. So I'm going to punch his warlord with my warlord. Oh, Morris. it's warlord on warlord. So I'm hitting on threes, re-rolling ones, because they're power fists. Uh, there's a one. And that is three hits. Good. Wounding on threes. And that is two. Two wounds. Three up saves. Both oh, saves. Both it. saves. Look at them. Right, okay. So the chaplain is going to hit him from behind. Because <laughs> he can. Because he can. Uh, and this is just hitting on twos. Yeah, hitting on twos. Uh, so they all hit. And this is wounding on threes. Because the. Oh no, it'd be wounding on fours because he's toughness. Toughness five. Toughness five. Yeah, so we did on fours. Uh, so that's one. Ooh. And that is minus one. So three up again. Saved. He's a tough. Saved it. He's a tough. Okay. And then my ironclad dreadnought. Oh, Who's he punch? Who's he punch? I'm going to punch the contemptor. Yep. Um, so he has four attacks. He's using the siege drill. Um, so this is actually minus one to hit, so he's actually hitting on fours, but because of the proximity, re-rolling ones. Okay, so that's three hits, and uh, this is... Strength, double strength. Yeah, double strength, yeah. so it's 14. Two's to wound. Two's to wound. Uh, so that is all but one. Um, I might come out point that. Off Onto the, the floor. <laughs> Command pointed onto the floor. It's a, got it five. a five. So uh, minus uh, three. I think it's minus four. Let me just double check. I've got a five up in run, so Okay. It's two up save normally, but so if it's minus three, it's five. Yeah. yeah. It's five so five up saves. One save. Two go through. Two go through. Right. Now this has got a flat damage profile, I believe. The hammer is flat five damage. Wow. So, so ten so, damage. Yeah. Ten damage. Whoa. So he has then, six up. Emperor protects. I need to make. Three of these to stay alive. So we got ten damn well, we got ten wounds going in on that dreadnought. Come six on, I ups. need to get two six ups. Let's see the emblem, not the skull. One. One. Oh, <laughs> he's dead. He's dead. Contempt. He he's dead. Does he blow? You want to oh. see that? No, we no. saw a skull. <laughs> yeah, it's a one. He's, he's dead. dead. He's just dead. Time for Toby and the custodes to hit back. Robin has popped the armour of what? Armour of Dominic. Indominus. Indominus, which basically means the captain now has a three up invun save. Dirty cheating Robin. Uh, so, Custode's turn to hit back then. Yeah, um, so we'll go with the shield captain on bike. Attacking the Razorback? Uh, no, attacking the captain. Sure, not into the yeah, well, <laughs> sure, not into the Razorback. Into the captain. Two's to hit, three roll in ones. Not needed. Uh, strength six, so three's to wound, yep. re rolling ones because he's in six inches of the Loras. It's a good, good thing. <laughs> So, three wounds, so three three ups. Three three, three ups, three Robin. Ups. Uh, so, one goes through. How much damage do they cause? D3. That's three. Three damage. Uh, he's got a doing okay. He does. Six up. Flesh is weak. Oh, he's oh, made one. Made one, two, two wounds. Two so, wounds. next, Sephiroth is going to attack. He's got, although, he's got, he's got Sephiroth's the one we named, but never mind. Um, attacking the shield captain as well, hitting on twos. Re rolling ones. Because the shield captain, but also he's within range of yeah. Valoris. Yep, they will hit. Strength eight, wounding on twos, re rolling ones because of Valoris. That's minus two, but we've got a three up in bone. Three anyway, up. So five saves. Five. five, three up in bone saves. No, two. two. I might command point one of those. You've already command pointed. You've already, you've already command pointed point this yeah, round, yep. Two, D, three. So that's only three. Three, three. Go Ooh, I've got to save one of these. You do. Here we no, go. Two of these, Six up, feel no pains. Oh, he gets oh, one oh, of them. Oh. Two wounds done. The Blah. captain falls. No. Cool. 
So, and then I'm going to, with Valoris, do two attacks on the chaplain. Okay. Yep. And three attacks on the... Oh, no. Do you know what? I need to get the points. I'm going to go for everything on the chaplain. Okay. Ooh. Two's to hit. We roll in once. That was well done. <laughs> nice. Strength ten, so two's to wound. Uh, four wounds, minus three. Okay, so Ooh. four up then. So four, you said, yeah? Yep. Four, four, four ups. ups. Oh, just one goes one. through. D3, three damage. Three damage, so three feel no pains. Here comes them feel no pains again. Robin saved one of them as two ones over there. So two goes through. At the end of the combat phase, quite vicious all the way around, the chaplain down to two wounds. A couple of other victory points scored, which I'm going to let Robin go through. So after that rather brutal round of combat where I've lost my warlord, I still have some points to tally up. So I've got this objective. Uh, this objective, the objective in the centre, and uh, this objective here, so another four. So I'm on 11 points, and Toby is currently on five. So we've had some shuffling around in the backfield. The Contempt of Dreadnought that was in the ruin has come across to uh, try and kill that Razorback to score a point. Um, Toby really needs to catch up the points deficit. Uh, whatever this dude's called, Karazov. <laughs> Karazov. <laughs> it's the first time anyone's ever seen him. <laughs> <laughs> Karazov. Um, we've said that that was just like a chain link fence, so you know I've said that he can move through that. It's not a problem. It's probably not actually how he's supposed to play it in the rules, but come on, he's a big robot and it's a chain link fence, as if he wouldn't be able to smash that down. So that's what we've done, and uh, he's actually within half distance for his melter. So actually, I take that back. You can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> No, so he's moved there. Um, the uh, shield captain that did the teleport thing uh, was actually unengaged at the end of the fight phase, so has just moved within an inch of my uh, ironclad dreadnought. The squad of custodies down here has moved forward, getting close to my contemptor, which I'm not happy about. And everything else is either dead or didn't move, so the vindicators, funny enough, didn't move. Uh, so they're going to be putting down some shots. Toby is already eyeing up my tech marine. What a meanie. Lots of fire coming in from all over the place. Uh, centred around my castle in the middle, I guess. Um, unfortunately for Toby, not a lot of damage though. Uh, this squad pumped fire into my contemptor. Didn't manage to wound it. Uh, the two Vindicare assassins shot into the Tech Marine. The first one missed. It was a long range shot, to be fair, Toby. You know, all the way across well, the board. Missed. Oh, was it? <laughs> it's the closer range. Well, he's got no excuse then. You're no just, excuse. He's just terrible. Um, so only one hit uh, managed to wound, um, scoring two damage, and I didn't manage to uh, save any. Um, lost one model over here, did make a couple of. Uh, Flesh is weak saves though, so uh, my flesh is weak is probably keeping me in this game actually. And uh, also the amount of ones that Toby's rolling is also helping. Uh, so that's the end of the shooting phase. At the end of the charges, this is what the battlefield looks like. Um, so the shield captain, uh, Sethoroth I believe is Sethoroth, there? yes. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, he declared a multi charge managed to get from here got a 10 inch charge didn't need 10 inches but got a 10 inch charge so it's gone into the tech marine uh, if he hadn't done that i would have just done a heroic intervention probably um karamazov <laughs> Karamazov, karamazov uh, managed to charge into the chaplain uh, the contemptor has charged into the razorback and a uh, very big charge here um, from the custodies have all got into combat with my Contemptor and have managed to steal the uh, objective off my tactical squad. So there will be repercussions, Toby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're going to film the, uh, the fight phase because uh, it's going to be quite interesting down here, we think. So the first person to hit will be the shield captain yep. that's charged in. So the guy with the wings. So two attacks going on the... Um... Tech Marine, Marine. three attacks on, on the, dreadnought. the Dreadnought. So okay. we'll do the Tech Marine first. Two on the, on the Tech Marine. Two's to hit. 
Rerolling ones. Oh, oh, hey. get out. <laughs> Strength eight, so two to wound. Wound it. Minus two. Minus two. This guy's only got two wounds left. Loves it. Loves Five it. up. Beautiful. Three attacks on the dreadnought. Twos. Uh, set strength eight. So fours. Uh, two. But one. Two. So minus two. two. Minus two. So five up. Uh, no. no. Two Close though, Rob. Two D three. Six. Oh, oh two D three. Six. Let's do the six. Which is weak. Oh, you get two. Oh, yeah. so four four wounds caused, not bad, Rob. So, uh, I'm going to go with the law. Oh, no, do you have to do a charges first, anyway? So yes. Charges first, I'll do uh, charge over there. Okay, so on the Contemptor. Contemptor, so they all have three attacks base, so that is 12 attacks. Oh, wow. Uh, one, ten, now, there's no reroll ones to hit unless. Let me just check on. Just pause it a second. So, just attacking the dreadnought. Two to hit, no rerolls. And that one's fine. Cool. Wounding on fives, though. Strength five and seven. Wow, fives, here we go. Yeesh! Ooh. Oh dear. One wound. Wow. wow. What's the minus? Uh, minus three. Minus three, so five up in the bump. No. And three damage. Three damage. You're doing very well with those rolls of well six. Damage, yes. Yeah. Just. Got no paints. No. no. One more for no paints to make it. Oh, sorry. One more. No. So three damage goes through. Three on there. Ouch. Okay. So next, Dreadnought. Yep. Uh, attacking the Razorback. Yep. Yeah. It so should be. Twos. Should. Man three one. Be. Reroll. Easy. Twos to wounds. Luckily, he's in the range of Valoris. So they get re rolled ones to wound. So, four wounds minus three. Sixes. And then no. Nope. Three damage a pop. Bang, so bang, bang. Three yeah. damage a pop, that is definitely <laughs> gone. Bang. Does he blow up? Come on. Oh. No. Razorback has gone. Uh, and then he's going to move three. Yep. Uh, and then my last of the charges will be uh, Karamazov on the chaplain. Ooh. Four attacks, he hits on threes. He doesn't get any benefit from the death of studies. He is strength five, three to wounds, one wound at minus three, I believe. His, yep, minus three power sword. He's got his very serious four up. Four up one save makes that. And then he has his throne of judgment stomping feet. So I get two additional attacks, he's AP dash. So uh, three to hit, strength five again, so threes. Two wounds, no AP. Threes. Oh, Two oh, sixes. Boom, in style. Available on our web store. <laughs> Link down below. So, and then my final activation is going to be. How many wins did I get to that dreadnought? Four. Four, yeah. Four. I need to try and kill some stuff. It's not going too great. Um, Valoris has five attacks. I'm going to put. Let me kill that chaplain as well. I'm going big. One attack on the chaplain. I'm putting you under pressure with one dice. No. Four on the dreadnought. Miss. So, yeah, twos to hit. This is on the dreadnought, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, All hits. Threes to wound, he's strength ten. Rerolling ones to wound. Okay, four wounds, minus three. Here we go. Sixes. Six ups. Oh, no, None of them. Four D3. Oh, God, he's dead. Oh, four ten, D3. Ten. ten. Ten six ups. Here we go, oh, Rob. Yeah, you got you this. You got this. I like a challenge. If you get this, everyone should buy these dice. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Here we go. Yeah, he's dead. No, no. <laughs> Does he Does blow he up? Ooh. Ooh. No, he doesn't. And then the lone attack on the chaplain. Two's to hit. Two's to wound. Wound did. Four up. Save. Like a oh, boss. He loves the pressure. Easy. So then you're next up. Light punching. Yeah, where are you going, Rob? Okay, so let's do. What's this guy's toughness? Five. Five, okay, so Chaplin's going to punch him. Ooh. That as well, three attacks. So two hits on the Chaplin. And these are going to be wounding on fours. One wound. 
four up in van. Save. Knock a boss again. Um, and then my next activation will be the shield. Oh, yeah, okay. shield captain time. Uh, so two's to hit the uh, Razorback. Rerolling. And then strength six. So five's to wound, rerolling one's because of Valorus. Doesn't need it. So three wounds. Three wounds. Three. three six ups. Also Makes one. one of them. 2d3. Only two. Too early. Razorback is still alive. Yep. Seven wounds left. Okay, so then Razorback. Uh, so it's just three attacks left. Yep. Six Sixes. Is. One hit. It's wounded. Two up save. Oh, oh. sure cats is fine. Yes. Oh no, you haven't done. You haven't yeah, I'm going to say you haven't done them two. Oh, done yeah, them. you have not yeah, done them. Check Marie. Oh yeah. So let's do this then. So three attacks. Uh, oh wow. Three. Uh, that's an axe. So four. No, no, wounds. no wounds. And then this guy has got four attacks. Uh, all hit. Nice. Yes. Three to wound. No AP on that. Three one. wounds. That. Come on! Don't give me those skulls. You yes. gave me a skull. One die. Blah. One. So we have one down to one wound, so he dies. Still claim that yeah. yeah. Objective okay. is still theirs. Uh, so the doing the race back. Uh, yeah. That's That's that is everything for the combat phase. Yeah. So just to summarise at the end of that turn, uh, Toby has scored another two um, victory points for two kills and two for objectives. One being here and one being down here. We have now got uh, 11 points to 9. This is getting close now. This next turn could be pivotal. Had to do some quite tactical move, uh, moving this turn. Uh, the chaplain has actually dropped out of combat. The reason why I've done that is because he's out of one inch of all of those characters, but he's given a six inch bubble for um, re-rolls to hit in the fight phase. So that will be my uh, Tech Marine down here, but more importantly, I have moved my Leviathan Dreadnought. He is a four inch charge away from this Dreadnought and he will be within six inches uh, of the Chaplain. I could even do a multi-assault there if I wanted to. Uh, my Tactical Marines have just huddled around that objective a bit more. I was tempted to move the Redemptor because he's not really doing an awful lot over here, but he is scoring me a point each turn and I already am ahead uh, on points, so it's just about keeping that scoreboard ticking over. With that in mind, I've got more models in contact with this objective now, and um, they are not in combat anymore uh, because the Contemptor has moved out. He's moved to be close to the Tech Marine. In fact, let's just roll to see how many wounds he gets back. Just the one, brilliant. Uh, better than nothing, and my usual two suspects over here uh, have just stayed still. My Predator has got through here. You can just about see in between the yellow piping, you can see a red knee pad. That is of the Contempt of Dreadnought. So I can shoot him with some LAS cannons. That's the only thing that he can see. Um, so it's going to be some heavy firepower going down here. Um, the Redemptor is actually within 24 inch range just of this guy, um, so I can shoot down there. Uh, so it's going to be hopefully a brutal round of fire coming in. Um, let's see how this goes. We've had an awful lot of shots go into the Contempt of Dreadnought, um, basically everything from Derridio. Uh, the Predator here. Uh, a lot of those shots bounced off or missed. Uh, it took the uh, Leviathan in the end to, to finish him off. Uh, that was the combined shots of the Melter Gun, which actually managed to score all full six damage, but he did save one of them um, with his, what was it? What's that special called? Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's basically it's a basically six, basically up, six up, feel no six pain. up feel no pain. Emperor so he, protects, let's call it that. Emperor protects, whatever. Uh, yeah, so he managed to save one of those, but then the Storm cam Cannon hailed into it and uh, took off the last couple of wounds. Uh, it did go bang and uh, it did a lot of damage. It uh, put a, a wound on this guy, it put two wounds on the Razorback, a wound on my Chaplain, 
and wound on the uh, Warlord, Valorus. Uh, uh, was it one or two wounds on him? one wound on him. One wound on him. And three on your Leviathan. And three on my Leviathan. Uh, so yeah, that went bang in style. Um, but most important thing in the shooting phase was my tactical squad over here shot the monkey, oh, shot everything into him, and he is on one wound remaining. He took a missile in the face. He the last PG shot. Tips. He does. Hey. <laughs> Clearly had his PG tips. Um, then other fire was from the tactical squad here, and uh, my redemptor shooting all the way across, and uh, scoring a couple of wounds on the guy with the shield at the back here. Um, but could have done with thinning those down a little bit more. Uh, so that was the end of the shooting. So who's attacking Robin? Right, so the Leviathan has just managed to charge into the shield captain on the bike. He's got three attacks and uh, he is hitting on threes. Yeah, three attacks because he's got the seed, not the clawy thing. Claw. Hitting on threes. Um, re rolling because uh, of the chapel. Yep. Actually, he's got minus one. He'd usually be hitting on twos. Uh, it's minus one, so that one does miss anyway. Oh, and yes. Minus one was the yeah. yeah. Do you know what? You're going to command point that. Command point that, I reckon. Oh. Command point is a hit. Okay. So he is strength 16. <laughs> Five to <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> so twos, so that is. Oh, all wounded. Two. Oh! Because the Auric. Auric. Coral is gone, that one. It's tough. That is tough. He is tough. Okay, so then we now want to this combat. Yeah. Uh, so he's got three attacks. Tech Marine. And uh, re rolling the miss because of the chaplain. Yep. Uh, still a still miss. Misses. And then this is fours to win because he has axe. So one. Uh, he has a four up in van. Yeah. Goes through. D3 yeah. damage? That's just one damage on an axe. Yeah. It's yeah. minus two, wasn't it? Or three damage? No, it's minus three armor, isn't it? It's down to four wombs. Uh, and then uh, it's your turn because everything else is. So let's go with. Um, doesn't match your matches, doesn't it? Uh, I'll do that there first. Okay. Okay. So five attacks. Hitting on twos. All hits. Strength eight, so wounding on twos. Yeah. Rerolling ones because of Valoris. Uh, four wounds minus two. Okay, so four four ups. Okay. Oh that's, dear. That's Three fails. Three D threes. Uh, so that's uh, seven. That's dead. Tech Marine. Seven. Seven six ups, Rob. He's got how many wounds left? You know me, I love the challenge. He's got two. Two wounds left. Six sixes. Come on. No, he's no, he's, <laughs> no, he's definitely dead. Dink. And then the Razorback. Razorback. Oh, yeah. you made a mistake there because now Razorback can punch I know. you. I <laughs> Come on then. Three attacks hitting on sixes. Come on. No, none off the Razorback. Um, and then, so yeah, five attacks there on the Razorback. So hitting on twos, re-rolling ones. All hits. Wounding on fives. Re-rolling ones because of Valoris. Two wounds, minus three. Two six three ups. Six. No. 2d3. Oh, it's four. four. Oh, it's got one left. So in summary, to the end of that turn, um, obviously a lot of killing there, and I have managed to only score the objectives, but fortunately I hold this one, uh, this one, this one, and this one. So I still think it's probably worth keeping the Redemptor there just to tick the scoreboard over. Would be better if he was here, but... Uh, He's still pretty good gun platform anyway. Uh, so that takes me up to 16 and Toby is on 10. The movement phases are happen happening very quickly now. So Valorus has just moved across to come, uh, come and punch the uh, Leviathan in the face. Well, at least that is the plan. Uh, the shield captain that was over here has actually uh, moved back round to harass this contemptor and um, we've just had some shuffling of this unit down here around that objective. Um, Toby was trying to drop the assassin that was on the top there and advance him. He needed a five inch advance to 
get within three inches of that objective to score it. Unfortunately, he didn't roll high enough, so he's decided just to drop down on the ground floor and remain in cover, so he can't get shot by this guy, I'm guessing. Um, so that was it for the movement. There's probably going to be a very short shooting phase and then quite a complex fight phase, I'm guessing, coming up. So uh, let's see how shooting goes. So as I said, very quick shooting phase there. Uh, Karazor. Karazov. <laughs> that guy, that guy in his chair. Um, shot into the contemptor with his melter. Uh, managed to take five wounds off him there. Uh, the custodies down here uh, shot their pistols into this squad, killing two of them. Uh, so that objective is now contested. Uh, everything else was kind of whiffed, really. Uh, this uh, shield captain bounced off there. Uh, the Vindicare assassin didn't whiff, actually. Uh, he did actually kill the chaplain that was there. And um, Polaris shot over here into that squad. I uh, did wound one, but I did actually manage to save it. So uh, we're straight onto the charge phase. So in terms of three charges for the custodes, uh, Cameron's on rolling 11, that's why he was around the back there, charging the Tempter. Multi assault here with the shield captain Sephiroth, and need that razor back there, quickly to do it. Back up on that Contemptor. Custodes into the uh, Space Marines and Aurora into the Siege Leviathan. Uh, so, as we go in, so let's do over here, let's do the Custodes first. So, nine attacks. Nine. Uh, hitting on two, we roll into the Shield Captain nearby. <laughs> you didn't pick that up, Robin just said, I think I'm dead. I think Three. you're right. Strength five. Uh, so that is seven wounds minus four. Oh, really. Ooh, seven six ups. Yeah. You got this, Rob. Yeah. Yeah, they did. Uh, Wait a second. Whoa, well, Phil, well, no pain. Sure they're, 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 they're dead. <laughs> they're definitely dead. I don't even think your uh, Phil, no pains are going to do anything yeah. there, Robin. You would. I don't know why you said Um, right then, so moving here, I'm going to put two attacks on the Razorback, three attacks on the Contemptor. In fact, let's do Karazov first, Karazov. He has four attacks. Putting on three. He doesn't get any rerolls on the shield Are you a very No. He is. <laughs> Five to wound. Oh, one wound, minus three. So this is this guy here, isn't it? Five yes. Oh, no. two damage. Two damage, so two, six ups. Oh, it makes one. one of them. And then I have stompy feet. The throne of judgment is judging you. Threes, nothing. <laughs> Four knots. It's not judging that well, is it? No. So uh, I'm still going to keep the same thing. So two attacks on the Razorback, three yep. on the Leviathan. So on the Leviathan, uh, hitting on twos, yep. hits. Wounding on threes. No reroll of ones because Valoris is out of range. So two wounds at minus two. So Four up in the bonus. Uh, one, D three, it's two, two, so six up. Yes. No. So two. Did he go for boom? Does he blow up? Who? Your contemptor. Contemptor oh, dreadnought. Oh, that was sorry. Three. Yeah, he yeah. And he had two wounds left. Sorry, I, I thought he was on the Viking. Sorry, sorry. No, no, but you failed. Did so I, it's minus two. So it was yeah, you failed it. I, it was just five, okay. So I, I couldn't remember what my my invun roll if I counted it on a four or a five. It didn't. You didn't roll it anyway on either of them. Okay. Yeah, you failed. Okay. Do I fail so both? Did I yes. Fail both? Yeah. Oh, right. Okay, so, so, you got, so uh, does it blow does up? Does he blow does up? Blow? No. no. And then two attacks on the Razorback. Twos. Wounding on threes. One wound. Ooh, Ooh. Minus two. So five up save. Five up save. The Razorback's gone. Uh, kiss, kiss the die. Oh, God. Uh, uh, does it? Oh, you've got a command point. You do have a command point. <laughs> Do you, want really? to, do you really want to waste your last command it point? Oh, it's a big call. You might need that command point later. Does he blow up? This is, this, this, this is where you can use the command point. Now, yeah, you could use the command point here. 
Boom. You don't need it. It doesn't need boom. it. That Razorback so goes I boom. Everything, everything of mine. So D3 over here. D3 onto those custodes. Two, so one. Caramelized. Yeah. Caramelized. Caramelized. Two. Captain. Oh, three. Three. Captain. Three. Two. Three. Down to three. And Valoris. One. And then yours, Leviathan. Yeah, go on. One. One. Six of two of my brain. No. The Leviathan's actually taken four wounds in total. Wow. Ten left on the Leviathan. That's carnage, absolute carnage in this area of the battlefield. It seems to be going on for a long time. All three turns yeah. seems to be in combat with you guys. So right then, next we're going to do Shield Captain on Leviathan. Yeah. So five attacks hitting on two. You rolling? Four. Now five to wound. Six. Now what he does have that I keep forgetting, I get to reroll ones because of Dolores. But he also, because of this, gets to reroll one hit, one wound, or one save roll. Another one that I didn't roll. Oh, so it's still only one wound. Minus two. Four. Pin Vun. No. D3. Three. Three. Oh, look at oh, that. Oh, nice. two of them saved. Robin and nine. his lucky dice rolling. Nine. Yep. And then Valoris. Now I get to punch back. No, you don't. No. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have done that. It should have been Valoris first. But yeah. that would be my first. Yeah, yeah, it would have been, yeah. So it makes yeah. no difference. Five attacks, hitting on twos. Did I roll that one? No, that was already that. And then wounding on threes for the strength of ten. He gets to re-roll ones. So that is four wounds at minus three. Four ups. Okay, so that's two failed. Um, how much damage does this do? D3 each. D3 each. Uh, no, I'm not going to no. Three. Uh, another five. Ooh. Oh, so Robert says one, one of them four. four damage. Now I'm also going to activate his uh, special ability, his once per game, Moment oh. Shackle. I'm going to fight again. Oh, once per game. oh cheeky. So he can basically, uh, he can either get command points back, mm -hmm. which, then, which I completely forgot to do at the beginning again, that's what I normally do. Uh, you can get up to D3 you spend on a stratagem. Uh, you could get, regain D3 wounds or attack, attack again. Mm -hmm. Once per battle. Attack in again. That Leviathan's on four left, I and think. Five. Oh, is he on five Sorry. left now? So, twos. Rerolling. Threes. Rerolling. Right, that's four wounds. It's four big. Four, four ups. Four, four ups. Here we go. Uh, Two go through. I'm going to command point. Yeah, yeah go on. He's going to use his last command point yep. to so save that one. That saved him. Yeah, that's only one win, though. Okay, so six up. No, no it takes one. Four wounds left on the Leviathan. Wow. Right, okay, so he is degraded. Yes, he is. But not to his minimum. Hold it again. So the Leviathan now, because of his day, degraded profile, will be hitting on fours. Just Who are you? Get any wounds through, they're dead. Who are you hitting? Oh, warlord, yeah. warlord at the back makes warlord. sense. Ah, oh, just the one. You have no command Twos. points left. Two's to wound. Boom. To six. Three up. Save. Oh, good. Boom. So in summary, at the end of that turn, uh, Toby has managed to score four points, two for objectives and two for kills. So we are currently 16-14. This is a really, really close game, yeah. this one. <laughs> So just an addendum to the end of the fight phase there. Um, Valorus using that special ability should have been done at the end of the fight phase. So my Leviathan would have got to have punched him first. As it turns out, it didn't make any difference anyway. So the result remains the same. Uh, but just to note, we did do that slightly out of order. So my movement phase, nothing has moved apart from my tactical marines. I've just got the guys with bolters just to move within 12 inches of these custodes, uh, custodies. I really need to um, get them off that objective. So the plan is tactical marines are going to shoot these. The Derridio is going to shoot these. 
and uh, then that will leave my um, predator who can only see chair guy <laughs> whatever his name is uh, only only see him so hopefully I'll be able to kill these and then shoot that with the predator um, so I think that is the plan So the Derradio, the Redemptor, the Tactical Squad, all shot into the Custody Squad on the objective. And there is one remaining after the smoke clears, with two wounds remaining. The amount of three-up saves that uh, Toby pulled off there with his Storm Shield was, uh, was pretty impressive. Um, so that meant that because he was there, my Predator hasn't got line of sight, so it was a bit of a gamble. I could have moved him, but I didn't want that minus one. Um, that meant that he is out of line of sight because of these barricade above these containers. So then I couldn't use all my shots on the uh, big chair dude. That's what she's just going to call him for now, big chair dude. So yeah, that was uh, no units killed. Um, still sitting on three objectives, so we'll score three points as a minimum. And now it is on to the fight phase. Can the Leviathan put the hurting on the Warlord? I really need that guy to go down, but it's going to be a tall order. Right, so the plan is the Leviathan is going to punch the Warlord. One of these gets through. Flat five damage. So hoping I get that, and then that could put the game out of reach for Toby unless he tables me. But I've yeah, it's a down to this combat really. It's what a big roll, it? isn't it, yeah, so for you? It's two hits, twos to wound. Both wounded. Both wounded. Saved. <laughs> No. no! So, Valoris will attack back. Uh, hitting on twos. Re rolling. Wounding on threes. Re rolling ones to wound. Uh, so, three wounds. Three wounds. Three Ooh. Wounds. Two. Two. D3? Three. three. Ooh. Doing well with these D3s. Oh, I know, yeah. my D3s have been good. D3s have been good on that device, then just getting a tater in. Sixes. No Three. sixes. Two. Two wounds. And then the shield cap. It's it down to one. He's oh, on three. four at the four moment. Three. He's just taken down three, so he's got one oh. one womb left for that Leviathan. Drain up. Hitting on twos. Rerolling ones. <laughs> what are you doing, <laughs> Tabri? <laughs> one to ones. <laughs> Fives to wound. Rerolling ones from Valoris. Oh. oh. Which I'm then going to use his Victor of the Blood Games as well to reroll the other one. So that's three wounds at minus three. <sighs> four up. Four up. So here we go. Oh, two. Two. Three. 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 You need three sixes, Rob. It's going to blow up as well. Uh, it blows up on a five. Oh, he does. Six more to wounds as well. It blows up on a five. Here we go. Does that Leviathan go <laughs> boom? No. Oh, he doesn't. <laughs> So to summarise, at the end of that turn, that was absolutely brutal, that blowing up. I could have really done with that Leviathan staying alive. Uh, so Toby has actually scored a point for killing that in my turn. Um, but I am sitting on three objectives still. So I am now up to 19 and Toby is up to 15. I think that Leviathan dying, that is pivotal, really. Uh, it means that Toby can put pressure over here. He's consolidated. So yeah, let's move on to Custodia's turn four and uh, see what he can do. So we've had a very aggressive redeploy from the Custodia's. Uh, big chair guy <laughs> <laughs> has moved to sit on that objective. Shield captain is trying to get out of line of sight. And as is this um, lone Custodia's hiding behind there it means that I'm going to have to move these if they're still alive. Um, I'm pretty sure they will be, but I'm going to have to move them to get some shots. 
because he is denying me shots at these two characters at the moment. Uh, the shield captain on the jet bike and the warlord have moved around to deal with my um, tactical marines that are on the objective. The other assassin has moved and advanced, got a big advance roll and is now sitting on that objective so he will be scoring at least one, uh, at least two at the end of this, three in fact so he will be pretty much equal in me. Uh, he just needs to kill a unit, which is going to be quite easy, so that will take him up to 19. Um, so and yeah, like this is, yeah, and then if you can get that objective, that will actually put Toby in the lead. So this is a really, really close game. It's all going to be resting on what happens next. So let's move on to the shooting and see what he can do. So at the end of a quick fire, quick fire, check me out with puns, uh, quick fire shooting phase, um, there has been three wounds put on the Derridio. Uh, that was from the mega melter gun off that. And I've lost one tactical marine here. I did some awesome savings from all the, uh, the hurricane bolter shots there. So uh, that's helped. I don't think it will help them when they get charged by these two. <laughs> <laughs> these two shield captains and uh, executed in the combat phase but hey at least they're there we're at the midpoint of the charge phase so far uh, the two shield captains have got in with the tactical marines taking no wounds um, but he has actually declared a big charge 10 inch charge into the Derridio uh, big go home. I have a lot of overwatch fire to do so let's just do that now on camera so this is the heavy bolters first of all and that is two hits with the heavy bolters and it'll be fours to wound uh, one wound minus one saved. he's saved and then uh, 2d3 missile pods uh, so that's two five five shots uh, one and threes to wound no wound and then the two last colours of death, we're going to see two sixes. Probably are. Oh, so they're Come all on, missed. ten. Give me a ten. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Very, very, very close. Right, so let's just move straight into the, the combat over here. I'm sure it's going to be quite quick. Uh, Valoris, twos, rerolling. And strength ten, so twos, rerolling ones. Uh, minus three, five wounds. Five wounds. Okay, so I've got five dice in my hand. Uh, so sixes. Uh, they, yeah, they're they're five three apart. yeah, they did. So that's that squad wiped out, and uh, we have an objective claimed there. So that's two points from that one action. So the plan worked out perfectly for Toby, managing to score that objective and uh, score this objective and f so he's got four objectives in total now actually and uh, got the kill so he has gone up to 20 so he is now outscoring me and i don't really have a lot that can respond to that um, so let's move into my movement phase and uh, see if i can pull this back at all So it was a very short but quite tactical movement phase there. So the Derridio has stayed put. He is actually closer to this character, so he can shoot that um, and not have any penalties. However, the Predator was slightly closer to this unit that he couldn't actually see. So I've backed up, so I'm still within three inches of that objective, but that now makes that character closest so I can shoot everything into him too. I won't be able to deny the objective but if I can kill the character then that will at least score me a point and I'll have this point over here. The Redemptor again has stayed put sitting on his objective guarding it has, as he has been doing all game but he is now looking at the tail end of that jet bike. If I could get a sneaky kill on that that'd be useful. Might even be a better idea to do a sneaky kill on the uh, Vindicare probably more likely to happen so I'm probably going to do that. So let's move on to my shooting and see how we get on.
So the Derradio and the Dreadnought have made short work of whatever his face was. <laughs> <laughs> Never to be seen ever again. <laughs> <laughs> um, now over here, uh, I wanted to get the sit in there to get the objective. So also not getting the minus one to hit. However, it was either shoot him or shoot him. He's got three up in bun. He's got four up in bun. Um, so I opted to shoot him, but because he's got that towing cover, it's five up to hit him. So I didn't actually manage to hit him that much. Uh, just took one wound off, I believe. Um, all right, okay. Um, wound from last turn, I guess. I can't remember. Um, or is he, is he wounded? He got wounded in the first turn. Oh, in the first turn. Right, okay. We'll get it right in a minute. Right, so what I've decided to now do is, because I think just for the positioning, although by moving him will lose me this objective, if I were to get an 11 inch charge there, kill him and then consolidate, I'd score that centre objective. Well, we can I'd actually I'd con still, yeah, we contest, contest it. Yeah, we contest that, but I'm in a better position. So I think I'm going to go for the Hail Mary uh, charge there. So I'm about to get overwatched. 12 shots, re-rolling ones, six is to hit. So that's three hits, four hits. Four. Um, and then toughness eight or seven? Uh, toughness seven. So fives, but I get to re-roll ones because of Valorous. Two wounds. Two wounds, okay, so that's no AP. So just three up save. Uh, so one does go through, and let's see if I feel no pain, which I do. Yeah, <laughs> you don't care. Yeah. Right, okay, on, so here now, here we go, we need a big, big charge. Do I get this? <gasps> oh, you want to shout! <laughs> measure that, measure that! <laughs> oh, you got to come sure. round. He's just out. Just out, just out. Uh, oh, he has to yeah, bend. yeah, he's got to bend slightly. Oh, oh just out, that was close. Oh. I mean, I have still scored that. Yes, so it's not the end of the world. So right? it's not the end of the world. Uh, but yeah, I could have done with better, better board position in there. But, but you didn't hey, lose anything. No, I haven't, lo haven't lost anything because I didn't take a wound in the end. So yeah, that, uh, that was close. So now, just to summarise very, very quickly, um, I've got two objectives and killed a unit. Yeah, killed this guy down there. So I'm now on 22 points to Toby's 20. So Toby... He's going to score that next turn, and this one, presumably, uh, plus those two. So it's you know it's it's looking like um, a custodies win here, really, unless I can really do something special. Um, so let's move on to custodies turn five. So at the end of the Custodes turn 5 movement, the shield captain has moved around here. Uh, he's probably going after the Derradio, he's going to try and get him in combat. Uh, it does leave himself open though for some overwatch, so he's got two wounds left. It's risky, but it's worth the risk. Um, as he's over here, the shield captain has come to sit on that objective. He is obsec, uh, obsec so he will score that despite the uh, Predator being in range. Uh, and he's probably going to charge that kill that or at least tie it up so it can't shoot back. Um, Valoris has just uh, taken a step back so he's in that cover um, but he's still within three inches. Uh, I think Toby's basically controlling every single one of the objectives uh, apart from where the Redemptor is. Um, so he's going to score high here. Um, could have really done with a better turn last turn for me. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's move on to the shooting, see what happens there. So at the end of the shooting phase, uh, there was just a little bit of damage put on the Predator from the two Assassins. Everything else has bounced off my uh, tough armour. Um, leaves Toby with a little bit of a predicament now. What, what were your thoughts, Toby? Well, if the game was guaranteed to end now, I wouldn't do anything. I'd just leave it as it is and I'd get four points from objectives, line breaker, uh, five points from objectives. Yeah. You know, so if that comfortably gets it, that would be 26 22. However, if it goes on and I don't move, yeah. 
you're holding to, say you shot me off objectives, you kill him, you get yep. the objective and a kill, that's three points, kill him, that's four, that's 26. Yep. Do you know what, it's like, if I can get into combat with them, it gives me a much better chance of not getting shot, but I run the risk of overwatching. So you know what yeah. we Go for it. <laughs> We're going for it. Go big or go home. So shield captain into your predator. Okay. Uh, let's do 2d3 plasma shots. Okay, so just three shots. Three sixes. Oh, it's one. <laughs> and freeze the wound. What's the wound? Two last cannons. These are flamer last cannons. <laughs> <laughs> Makes the charge. Makes the charge, so he's in, okay. So that kind of makes me feel better. And then, yeah, I'll charge the Over here. Uh, okay. So, 2d3 missile shots. Uh, so we got a one, a uh, two, so basically two shots. Sixes. Oh, that was a six and bounced off there. Uh, then we need heavy bolter shots. Heavy bolters always get the job done. They do. <laughs> Two, two hits. Fours to wind. Oh, snake eyes. And then, it's all right, these two last cannons. Oh, no. These two last cannons, he's scared. Oh, sorry, six hit. No, it's failed. Can he make the charge, though? No. Oh, I five, no. It. I don't think it is. We'll measure it up. Pretty sure not. Yeah. It's hard to do one-handed, this. Would you like me to help, huh? Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's I think not enough. Yeah, it looks slightly longer than it. Yeah, it's, it's out. Just out. Just out. Okay, so that's good news for me. All right, we're going, let's go straight onto this combat over here. Five attacks. Oh, so, twos, re rolling ones, with the shield captain. Uh, strength six, uh, but he gets to re roll wounds when he charges with okay. his So, fives, re rolling. Good job. Oh, no, so just okay, two wounds minus three. Minus three, so six is... No. Two, three. Uh, four wins. Four wins. Uh, you can't get your D6? No, not on a uh, tank. Not on a tank. It's only on walkers, well, dreadnoughts, infantry, and bikes. So, at the end of that, um, so hold five objectives. Mm -hmm. Didn't kill anything, so it's 25, but I got... So that's it, 25. And does the game end? Right. Roll it up then. Here we go. Does the game end? It no, it on. doesn't. Oh. Carries on. <laughs> so we've decided just to do everything on camera because obviously not a lot moved. Predator just dropped out of combat and my Redemptor moved somewhere. He's moved off that objective. He's moved back to this one. He's only got three wounds left. Hoping to uh, kill him. I can either kill him in shooting. Uh, if I don't kill him in shooting, then I can charge him and then I will hold that objective. And that will leave my Derridio to hopefully take the last two wounds off uh, this shield captain. So that, if I do that, that will give me three points, which will take me into a draw. Um, yeah, I think that's the best I can do, really. Um, so, yeah, let's see how we get on. So first to fire is my Redemptor, and he is going to fire his Gatling gun uh, into the shield captain on the bike. This will be hitting on fours, though, because he moved. This is what I don't like about the Redemptor. I've been talking about this off-camera all game. And that is three hits. So... Exactly statistical, and he's wounding on fours because it's six. toughness six, strength six. So that is two wounds minus one AP. So three, three up ups. in buns. Oof, one failed. failed one. How much damage? Uh, one damage on that. I'm going to take it. Okay. Down to two. Down to two. Right now, the plasma cannon. That's uh, D6 shots. Five shots. That's what I need. That's what I need. So we've got five dice. Hitting on fours. That's two. Uh, hit, wounding on threes. That's one wound. Three up in one. Saved. He's saved. Okay. Now the uh, missile launcher. Now he has got the fly keyword. 
So there'll be plus one on this. And this is two, uh, one D3 shots, sorry. Well, one, great. <laughs> and Hits. Could you hit them fours, but plus one? Yeah, hit them fours, plus one. So yeah, that's a hit and threes to wound. No, fail to wound, come on. Right, last ditch is his frag launchers, 2d6. Oh, that's big, 10 oh, that's shots. Big. Right, I need to pause this to get more dice in my hand. Right, so here's my 10 shots. These are hitting on threes, because it isn't heavy. It's uh, a lot of ones and twos, let's get rid of those. Okay, so that is four, five hits. Strength four though, so need fives to wound. Uh, that is just the one. Saved. Saved. So tough, these custodies. So tough. Right, so that is all the shooting done there. Hmm, what to do? What to do? Well, I can charge can charge over here. Uh, that's pretty much a guaranteed charge. So I need that dead. I need that dead. So I think I'm going to have to shoot everything from the Derradio into that just to ensure the kill. He only has a four up in front. He's only got four up in front, so... Yeah, I've got to just pump everything in. I've got to just make sure that he dies. Um, still going to be tough to do because of that four up in bun. Right, so let's do the two last cannons first of all. These are hitting on twos. He hasn't moved. Um, strength 10, though. So wounding on twos. So that is a wound. Four up. It's a one. Oh, it's gone through. Right. He's got so, two wounds left. Two wounds left. Um, so two plus, he's basically dead. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you get you still get your Emperor's... No? No, it's only more to wounds. Than the oh, is that any more? Right, here we go. Yep, yeah, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. Good. Okay. So... Objective complete there, I guess. So the next thing to do is to charge in to the shield captain. So overwatch. Twelve shots. Uh, let's check out the dice. Two. Oh, sixes, sorry. We're rolling ones. Two hits. Two wounds. Two wounds. Right. Okay. So uh, three up saves. Both nailed. Loves it. Charge. He's in. Loves life. Boom. Cool. Now, this is it. Hmm. Do I? Do I charge this guy in? I may as well. I may as well. Yeah, you're not losing anything. No, I'm going to charge in. Uh, so, six inch charge. So, he Easy. is in. Bang. Okay. Right, so let's pause this so I can see how many attacks a Derradio does. Because <laughs> who charges a Derradio? So first of all, we are going to be attacking with the Redemptor into the Shield Captain. Uh, he is hitting on threes, minus three, not that that matters because he's got three up in one, but these are all D6 damage, so I need threes to hit. Come on! Oh, it's only two, it's only two. It'll be twos to wound. That's two wounds. Three ups. Oh, he's both. got both. He's got both. Right, it's down to the uh, Derradio. Two attacks, apparently, these have. And these missed with both. <laughs> <laughs> that was an anti-climax. Uh, I'll attack the uh, Redemptor. Might as well. Redemptor. Yeah, Redemptor. Uh, so hitting on twos, re-rolling ones. All hit. He didn't yep. charge, so I don't get any re-rolls here. Fives to wound. Oh, three look at all those sixes. Three. Sixes. Uh, okay, so they've all gone through. Uh, and that is four, uh, six. Six wounds on the Redemptor. Okay, so just to summarise the end of my turn there, I only managed to get the one for the kill on the Shield Captain over here. This guy's been the bane of my life, really. He's so tanky, that three up in one, six, uh, toughness six. Um, so we're moving straight on to Toby's turn. So Toby um, has scored this one, this one, this one, and oh. is obsec in this one and this one. So he holds all, all but one objective. So he's immediately scored five points. So I can't win this now. That puts on 30, yeah. So that puts Toby on 30 points. But we're just going to play out the combat. 
um, to see how well the shield captain can do here. So who are these against? Uh, go against the, Re the Redemptor. Redemptor. Again. So the Redemptor took six five. wounds last turn. Reroll them once, and then fives. No reroll. One wound. One wound. So can I save this? Oh, actually, I do get one reroll as well for Victor of the Blood oh, yeah. Games, which is a wound. Yeah. So you get another save. Another save. Uh, which I fail, so two fails. 2d3, uh, that's another five wounds. Another five wounds. So he took six, he's taken five, so he's, uh, he's taken 11 wounds in total. He's only got 30. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he's, he's pretty much dead. So I think uh, that is it. I'm going to call it there because there's no way that I can bring that back um, and all my units. Well, I've only got the three units here. They're tied in combat over here, so I can't really do anything. So yeah, that was a really great, great game. I uh, really enjoyed that. Really close up until the end there. Uh, just shows you how strong these custodes are. Wow. So that was that was kind of a brutal game. Yeah. <laughs> not not a lot left uh, on the table from either side there. Um, those custodes, they're just so so strong. Um, that guy on the bike with his uh, his three up in one save toughness six, it's just un un unmovable really, and that's yeah. not even the most powerful that you can you can play him. Toby's been telling me so. Uh, yeah, that was uh, it was pretty good. Um, unit of the game for you, Toby? I think I probably know, but yeah, probably the shield captain. Um, I mean, Valoris when he came into it started yeah. doing some real work, um, but the shield captain he was a massive distraction for you. Yeah. Uh, that three up in one, and then also playing those two command points. At the beginning of the game, so I can yeah, re-roll yeah. a save each turn is huge. It just, you know, I, to be fair, I didn't expect him to survive as long as that, but he was a, my MVP for sure. Yeah, yeah. For me, I'm not, I'm not too sure. Didn't really have any sort of standout units. I don't think. Um, I think the the Derridio was probably mm. doing some fairly, consistently that yeah, did the best damage. Consistently sort of laying down firepower at the back. Um, but he was missing quite a lot with those two last cannons. He'd hit with one, do quite a lot of damage with it, but then miss with the other. Um, the, the the Leviathan didn't really do anything this game. It's usually uh, an absolute bullet magnet. Uh, tanks all the shots, lets the rest of my army sort of go up and uh, and, and get to where they want to be. But this game, because of the um, the way that the deployment was, it meant that I had to deploy all my tanks on one side and all my walkers on the other because I couldn't get sort of through the terrain. Um, so that meant that I couldn't sort of utilise the overlapping bubbles for the six ups and, and uh, sorry the six inch um, bubbles for one uh, re-rolling ones and things like that. So slightly out of position there, and that meant that my Redemptor was probably on the wrong side of the battlefield. Yes, he was scoring that objective, but really needed to be punching stuff really with with that. I think uh, Redemptor's probably worst uh, yeah. worst to the unit in the uh, in the battle. Really, he didn't really do anything uh, other than totting up those, those points. But I could have had a That's tactical very squad there to get points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could have had a sixty-five point tactical squad doing that rather than a two hundred and one point Redemptor Dreadnought. So not too keen on that. The Ironclad's pretty good. Uh, you know, that flat five damage, that, that came as a bit of a shock to you, didn't it, mate? <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing. Like Once I saw your list and I saw the Dreadnoughts, I was like, oh, I don't really want to get in combat with them because if I fail any saves, yeah. that's by a custody um, each time. But, yeah, I think that was a game of two halves as well. Like The mm. first two turns, I was really worried. I wasn't quite getting where I wanted. When I got my charges in, I didn't do the damage I wanted. And I was rolling quite poorly for the first two turns, mm. but then I started rolling really hot towards the end. Yeah. Um, and it just sort of like the momentum shifted because we both had quite elite armies. Yeah, and the, it, the, the telling point was when the Leviathan Dreadnought actually yeah. died. Um, but in the, the combat phase, um, prior to him dying, uh, I think it was all D3 damage and you kept getting the three damage. Yeah. So he's never actually died that quickly. So uh, there was a little bit of um, poor rolling from me. Didn't didn't get as many invuns as I usually would and didn't get as many of the six up um, Flesh's weak saves. But equally, the amount of damage that you were putting out on him, it was just sort of consistent. Um, and that was that was just the, the turning point in that battle. Uh, yeah. When that Leviathan died, that was that was pretty much game over for me. Uh, it was just sort of playing for pride then. There was a few little things that I could have could have done, which I tried to do, but it was then getting very reliant on um, getting the right dice rolls. Uh, but yeah, such such a really fun game, really really close game. Really enjoyed that.
Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that uh, battle as much as we did. Uh, if you want to see anything of Toby's army uh, in closer up, uh, you can follow him on Instagram. Toby, do you want to put the plug there? Absolutely, uh, at Flying Llama 747. At Flying Llama, brilliant, love it. So yeah, you'll be able to check out all of his custodies there. They're absolutely gorgeous, the non-metallic metal and all of that. He's won a few painting awards, you can, you can probably tell. <laughs> So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and um, remember to like, comment and uh, share uh, the video, it really, really helps us out. And uh, we're not going to sign off with our usual one, we'll let Toby do this, because Toby has coined a phrase, so over to you Toby. May the hobby be the winner, one and all. Thanks for watching guys, see you again. <laughs>